Alright, episode 2 of Kellis Chop Shop. Uh, it's October 17th. Um, everybody's still in bed. I had to get up and I uh, had a customer come and pick up a few things from the wood shop. Uh, so, I went ahead and slipped up here to the automotive area of the compound uh, so the 10th was my 10 year wedding anniversary um, that being said I purchased the wife a 1964 Cadillac Fleetwood limo um, 19,000 original miles the car is like damn near perfect um, other than it developed a noise in the motor and it now has oil out the pipe. So I'm going to pull the plugs on it and, uh, see which cylinder we got that's getting oiled down. I don't know much about these old 429s, uh, not to be confused with the Ford 429, it's legit caddy motor um so we're gonna pull them out see which one's oiled down see uh see what the deal is um i have a hunch on what it is but i'm really hoping that it's not that deep so we're gonna weigh our options and see what happens here uh if it gets too bad and we think it's going to be too more too much to uh put too much money into this motor we're going to um well we're going to ls swap it i mean what what else would you do so stay tuned and see where this happens and comes from all right little update on the cadillac uh pulled all the piston or all the plugs out and well let's just say that that's not supposed to look like that um also i come back up here from this morning and have no idea where the antifreeze come from because all i did was pull the plugs out and take the passenger side valve cover off because this is the number eight spark plug so i had originally my idea on this was well it's dropped the valve how else is it going to get oil pumping through the exhaust and a mess and a knock sound all at, hey, at the same time so i run down to my father-in-law's uh, He's got a scope. I'll pick it up. Uh, come back up to the house here. Uh, and, well, I scope it. And... If you can see that on the screen right there, that's the piston. And... This spot right here is not supposed to be there. That is a hole. That, um... Confirms the... Oil smoke out the exhaust and the oil period. Um, I haven't, as you can see, I haven't pulled the rocker arms yet. Uh, not real sure. I'm waiting to see what happens here. If this is going to be an LS deal or if it's we're going to have the head fixed and uh, have a valve job done and put a piston in it. Uh, So that's where we're stand on the uh, 64 Caddy. That's uh, yeah, 19,000 mile motor. Sucks, but when these cars sit for you know 25 plus years and nothing, nothing really moved on them, and uh, also this is originally was a. Uh, 
a funeral home car, so even though it's got 19,000 miles on it, it's, it's hard to tell how many hours it actually has on it, but, um, so that wasn't really the, uh, what I wanted to see with this car, but that was what I was suspecting, and my suspicions was correct. So, tune in. We'll see what uh, we got going on with it later on, and see if we decide that we uh, pull this out, rebuild it, or we um, throw an LS in this thing and, you know, cruise around with fuel injection and, you know, things like that. So, till next time. More on the 64 Caddy. Uh, so I pulled the head off and got it all tore apart because I was uh, expecting to have to take it to the machine shop because, you know, thought 100% thought it dropped the valve. Um, that's not the case. No idea. Um, like I said, this car only has 19,000 miles on it. Um, I, I, I really, really, really was expecting there to be a drop valve. Um, right here. This one. This is the cylinder. As you can see, everything's good. Like, even... Even the head there. Um, really anything messed up. Um, until you get in here. This little guy right here. Yeah, that's a hole. Um, not sure how it got there. Uh, obviously something's went through the motor. Um, yeah. I hate to speculate that somebody's dropped something in a carburetor and it's finally made its way through, but that's, uh, it's kind of what it's looking like. I mean, there's no other way that anything could really get in there. Unless it was in there from 64. Don't think so. I think we'd have had this problem before now. So. I went ahead. I uh, found an NOS piston. From a place out of Washington. Um, I went ahead and ordered it. Uh, it should be here next week. I've got a get the gasket kit ordered um, so this thing's got enough room in it that I can get it up on stands and no, no none of them harbor freight stands either um, good like 2x4 stands that I've built but uh, it's got enough room that I can get the pan off of it and we're not even gonna pull this motor. We're gonna uh, we're gonna knock the old piston out, spray her out real good, and put a new one in it. Check the bearings, and probably gonna put the same bearings back in it. But you know, that's how we do. Cheap, efficient. If it's not broke, why fix it? You know, so. That is the story on the caddy. Um, so that's one one vehicle figured out. Um, got a training kit coming for the Mercury. Uh, I was hoping to have it done for this weekend's car show down at Gleason's in Waverly. Uh, not going to happen. Um, I guess it probably could. The training kit's supposed to be here Monday, 
but yeah, it's not going to happen. Um, I'll get it yanked out, get it rebuilt, back in. There won't be a back out cruising that thing around. Um, until then, I guess I'll just keep driving the Buick.